So I'm here with Chris, and uh, I've heard about you can't stop the signal, but tell us about Can't Stop Serenity. Well, Can't Stop Serenity started out pretty much from a whole lot of Firefly fans, yes, guilty, uh, going, Fox, you cancelled our show, how could you? And were determined to get another season. And that didn't happen. But we did get a movie. So, Can't Stop the Signal ties straight into Can't Stop the Serenity. Once we got our movie, we're not letting go. We've got our movie and every year we show a, we do a charity screening of the, the film. We show it on a big screen. We make a whole day of it in Melbourne. And, you know, to get people involved, to get people interested in something they might not have seen. And yeah, keep that going. And so you're doing a charity uh, screening today. Would you like yep. to tell us a little more about the charity or what raising money for? Okay. Um, Josh Sweden, who wrote and directed Serenity, um, his personal charity that he supports is Equality Now. Um, his, I think it's his mother-in-law is tied up with the actual starting the charity itself. Um, so every year we show the screening of Serenity, we raise money for Equality Now, and Equality Now are tied up with doing huge amounts of stuff worldwide. They do a lot of uh, education programs, health programs, uh, legal representation, mainly for women um, that have been either the victims of domestic violence or sexual abuse. And in with the health side of things, it's a lot of things tied up with immunizations and HIV prevention and things like that so they do a lot of really good work in a lot of places that don't really see that sort of thing. So how how into it do the fans get? Do they dress up? Do they... You need to talk to one of my friends Alex. You've probably seen Alex walking around in a giant Kaylee poofy dress with... I actually think I helped her style a wig earlier. Yep. <laughs> Uh, What's your favourite thing about the event? It's seeing people walk out at the end after having a really good day and talking about it to their friends and going, yeah, we're definitely going to be coming back next year. Well, that was great. I, hadn't, I didn't know what this was going to be like. That's probably my favourite thing. Thank you so much, Chris. You've been absolutely wonderful. I Not a problem go, at all. <laughs> I better let you go and run around like a headless chicken for a little while. <laughs> I'm afraid to look at my phone, but someone would have called me. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you so much. And back to the studio, guys. Have a nice one.